Hey there, a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now. The renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate that, my friends. Enjoy the show. And uh, welcome back to Noita Am Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back in the main branch, my friends, because today, on the day of the eclipse, on the 9th of April 2024, after eight months in the beta branch, updating. Now, I must say, spoilers, we're going to go through the... We're not going to show anything in-game, but we're going to go through the general list of everything that's been added to the main branch here today for the Epilogue 2 update. Many moons ago, years ago now, it feels, their final update, even though it's said in the tagline and the kind of blurb for the Epilogue update, you know, it's not the end of everything yet. So we expected something else along the line in the future. Um, But yeah. Over the past eight months, they've been adding to the game a hell of a lot. Again, this update coming to the main branch as of today. So if anyone opens up Noita, even the main branch or beta branch, you're going to be playing what we've been playing for the past eight months, which has been constantly and ferociously updated from all three of the devs, from Hempuli, Oli, and Petri, who all had a go at adding things and doing things. And uh, yeah, it's been immense. If you want to go into actual detail, some visuals, in-game detail about all of the stuff that's updated, well then, we've got just a thing for you. We have the Noita Update 2023 playlist on our channel. Now, you probably need to sort by most recent video added to get this, because if you go by date added, yeah, it's hard to actually find this in the UI of youtube but the whole night update 2023 you know i know we're in 2024 now but uh hey ho it's uh just one of those things i would change the title but i kind of like the whole idea of updates been going on so long an entire year past you know <laughs> so the beta branch which again this update has 20 videos explaining luckily they're all quite short so each, each individual update we got, we did a video for, to, catalog, to catalog all the changes, and we showed it in-game as well. So if you're looking for anything specific, you know, the titles are there so you can help distinguish as well. But uh, again, this was eight months ago. This first video came out about certain changes to the game. Now, the list change log for the 8th of april 2024 now we didn't know we had a feeling that this was coming soon right let me just scroll up um scroll up where is it we had a feeling this was coming soon because where is it where is it is it mentioned oh yes 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 fixed issues with some languages in the ui now whenever they start correcting all the language things in a game historically for nola it's been a period of time where they're looking to sort out all the finer details for it all and you know get it down to the main branch so if we scroll all the way back down actually i've gone too far right yeah uh, this is all the modding i'm not going to go through all the modding stuff because that's generally some you know, into the code kind of details. And I, I'm just, a, I just like playing the game, you know? So lots of bug fixes, features, and updates. So shall we start at the beginning? Eight new modifier spells. We got those quite early in the updates. We're talking about void bounce and the other type, like sparkly bounce, that kind of thing. Um, and a few others, of course. But six new enemies as well, mainly because we got a new biome. A new small biome, but a new biome other th nonetheless. And that ended up having new enemies in it as well. As well as the fact, the new quest line on top of it also has new entities or enemies. And I get six new spells as well. Now, the one thing I'm not sure of, if we scroll down, it mentions an amazing golden spell. Is that included in the six new spells? Because I'm not sure. However, some are dramatic, some are huge. Kind of, we get two, you know, very powerful spells. Luckily, in the beta branch, the touch of spells, which are very powerful, can get, you know, a certain material out of them. 
but they were also part of a quest line. And they were far too easy to get. I think they've been one of them anyway. Mainly the touch of gold has been hidden a bit better. And it's a lot harder to get now. And uh, yeah, new rare materials. So we're talking about Gatekeeper, Dominion, other liquids being added to the game as well. New chemical reactions along with that. Because anytime you add materials, this is kind of like a combination. Anytime you add rare materials, you will get new chemical combinations. So those two come together. And the small biome being meat biome, which will show itself up when you go fight a certain boss fight. Or you go looking for it in its former place. Utility box as well, also part of the meat realm, where we get a bunch of awesome, you know, high-end stuff you'd normally find in hell. And late-end shops, where you get some really good quality items out. The green little boxes you find in the meat biome, really good. In potion reactions was one of the biggest updates as well, where inside a potion, if you put two liquids, it will react. We never had that before, before this update. And getting this has changed the game completely when it comes to alchemy and everything else. It's just, it's beyond anything we could have dreamed of. Not only that, we get in sack reactions as well. Which, because we can shift materials, eat some fungus, we drip for 190 seconds or 180 seconds, and then one of the materials in the game can shift into something else. So three new boss fights as well. Which I'm not really going to go too much into, but very creative, all very quite different in the lore aspect, how they're presenting. Some of the potential ways of taking out two of the bosses seem to cross over because they're very... There's something in the game known as a blood link, and their blood links to you, like you take damage, they take damage, it's damage everywhere. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's very complicated. You're going to have to really go out thinking about how the spells you're going to use on that one. New Easter egg. I'm not sure exactly what that's referring to, but if you if you know, let me know down in the comment section. Dupe around and find out. So you used to, at the nullification chamber, where you remove your perks, you put in blood, whiskey, and silver, I think it was, into the little holes, and you could drop all your perks. If you turned into a sheep while doing that, you could then just duplicate your perks, duplicate your perks. Now you can't do that. It will send Stee or Scott, or you might be permanently polymorphed into a sheep. And this continues as well. There was something known as infinite chest rain, where you could, say you brought a chest up to the altar at the top of the world. This was one of the last things fixed, by the way, and I'm really happy with it. Because it turns the RNG of the game into something comical. Which, to be fair, you know, it's one of those things I don't mind, you know, if people want to do it. It's just the, the rarity of certain things are rare for a reason. And getting around that, uh, It's all about the pot turning yourself into a sheep again. Throwing a chest on the altar at the top of the mountain. Getting chest rain. And while you're doing that, turn into a sheep so the game doesn't register it's you. And again, the devs obviously kind of understand what they're building here in this game the way i talk about it in terms of the certain manipulate the certain manipulations in the game like bridge oh bridge boss got destroyed in this update as well the bridge boss cheese where you could just stand still with a tablet i've railed against that from the dawn of time ever since i heard it existed i'll use it now and again but the problem with problem with bridge boss cheese it became a cult um for various reasons uh <laughs> having a bunch of the community go around just shouting out kind of the slogan, and, you know, it was kind of silly how uh, into cheesing the game. Because, again, I see it, I see this game as, like, and everyone, everyone can see it differently, right? Everyone can approach it and enjoy it differently. But the way the game is constructed lends itself to being the challenge it presents. And, you know... Since I can get my say on the issue because I've got a platform, um, you know, I might as well speak my mind on it. And uh, the trivialization of certain things, it's not showing disrespect as it is just... Uh, I think you're cheapening your own experience. So I would like to let you know, you know, you might be doing that, you might not be. But 
how I say it, if you get used to killing the bridge boss with a tablet, when it comes to the crunch, when it comes down to those moments that you need to desperately survive, you might not have adequate, you know, protection, muscle memory, knowledge, skill to get away with it. So that's why I didn't like bridge boss cheese. It developed laziness as a strategy. And when it comes to the infinite chest rain, you are looking... Certain things in the game are so rare, it is very unlikely you see something for hundreds of runs. And Chest Rain can bring down the RNG to make it almost a certainty if you keep on doing it. So again, hey, the devs saw it a certain way, they changed it. It happens to be the way I see it also. Better interactions with no... Uh, when it comes to no wand editing and edit ones everywhere, you know, better interactions, just, you know, as long as I can edit, I'm fine. They changed Lucky Minion as well. Made him a bit more reliable. Although we had Lucky Minion today, and he still gets in the way of quite a lot of stuff. Also, you're never going to heal again because he goes after medics. If you try and take Colmy anywhere with less than, like, five, six orbs, and you're not healing Colmy, Colmy's going to die. But of course, a load of balance updates as well. Spell drop rates rebalanced. Spells can now be dropped from your inventory at all times. That was a huge one, actually. Mainly because being being stuck with a full top bar inventory so you couldn't pick things up off the floor was infuriating. So it's good that's been removed as well. And uh, yeah, just adjusting costs, moving certain bosses into slightly more accessible spots. Ah, oh, the Heesey Alchemist potions went triangle as well. Uh, I don't really see the point apart from just some variety there. And I like that. I like the thought of it. Yeah, potion content percentages are displayed now as well. They buff vampirism. Audio is a big thing. It's surprising how audio in this game is connected to stability. The cleaner the audio is, the cleaner and the better the game is running is how I found it, right? If the audio is choppy, it's likely the game's suffering from something going wrong. And it's going to probably lag a little bit. But when it comes to the teleports, when it comes to the new sounds they've added for the saw blades and everything else, it's just perfect. They've done such a good job in the new areas as well with the new music. If you haven't seen the new music video for the new areas, spoiler warning, of course, for the new kind of places you can go visit. But the music is 10 out of 10, top notch. Along with all the little details and the spells they've changed audio-wise as well. But the telebolts also have a less harsher sound. You can also make, make it sound like a jet airplane now. Crash into a wall. Something known as tele digging, where you can dig with teleport bolt, basically. It's not something where you can make a long tunnel, but you can make an indent, and then you can keep on indenting. You know, it's just, uh, quality of life things as well, like old bosses using... A proper health bar so we now know the hp of the bosses there's been so much change in this epilogue update is insane ah those are the spells that's the spell list from uh modifiers to something like the holy lance the introduction of holy damage as well again all these things incredible it's changed noiter for the better wholesale Com like it's about a bigger change i mean we're talking... We've gone from 12 to 15 bosses, right? But when it came... Right. Uh, this might be a good comparison. From early access Noita to 1.0. It's about the same size change. Because during 1.0 to epilogue update is where they added about 10 bosses. Plus. Uh, or, you know, give or take a few. But it wasn't early access to 1.0 where they added all the bosses. It was 1.0 to epilogue. And now it's epilogue to epilogue 2. So epilogue to epilogue 2 seems just as big as early access's jump to 1.0. That might be a bit of a stretch, but it sounds reasonable. But yeah, also, again, this is the bug and exploit destruction update continued. Five wanding, knocked out of the park. It's gone. Goodbye to all your happiness, people who relied on those type of things again you could argue i'm a purist i don't like the tag of pure like being a purist but there's an argument there right in the way i kind of carry myself around video games i personally see it as more while you have the game and you can 
play how you want. The devs obviously intend a certain... Not way of looking at the game, but... They obviously wanted to provide a certain experience. They obviously know people will, within a certain variance of degrees, find a different way to enjoy. And I think that's all for the good. But the devs certainly had a expectation of how you'd look at the game, how you'd kind of grow with it, and the kind of difficulty level of what it is. Because the community is so into the game, and the types of expert knowledge combined with data kind of mining ways it goes about. Finding exploits for this game has turned out to be very easy. Um, <laughs> which I like people, you know, the channel's called Let's Suffer Together. <laughs> the channel's called Let's Suffer Together. It's not like I want people doing it the easy way. It's just like life a lot of the time. If you end up doing a lot of things the easy way, when it comes to the hard times, you're not going to survive. And I want people to survive the hard times. So it's not trying to stomp on anyone else's fun Why I celebrate these th things being gone. It is for that reason that, you know, sometimes you're just going to face what seems like insurmountable, insurmountable odds. I hope you've trained well for it, you know. A lot of the game as well now to move on has become so much more stable on top of it. It feels so much more smoother in a lot of areas. This was most notable about a week ago, before the update came out into the main branch. Well, it, it was just unparalleled smoothness. It, I haven't felt that kind of smoothness in a long time, ever since I got a new computer, really. It was just ridiculous how smooth it felt. That feeling didn't last that long, mainly because I either got used to it, or it just kind of was, you know... It was the game flexing itself at its peak potential, but it couldn't hold that for long, mainly because of the way I play the game. You know, I'm pretty heavy. It caused a lot of chaos, destruction. But a lot a lot of optimizations as well, circular stillness and freezing gaze used to lag the game no longer. They made that better. But yeah, like other oh, little little things. They've obviously been paying attention because the mouse cursor now displays the material even in parallels. So even in like even in parallel West 5, you can still look at things and go, oh, that's lava. Ooh, that's wood. You know what I mean? Which we couldn't do before. Ah, a perk icon was missing a pixel. <laughs> I think, oh, what was that? I, I know this because I do thumbnails. And in thumbnails, we often use um, the perks, the perk boxes, and just copy and paste them onto a thumbnail. Ah, oh, what was it? It had a little green dot in the corner, bottom left. I think it's to do with the green kind of... You know some of the perks have green boxes around as well? I think it was one of those. Can't remember though. Rare case of the sky being black. <laughs> but all good things. Again, if you update Noida, you'll be able to find this yourself. Hopefully it gives me... Noida, there we are. You can find all this list yourself in the release notes. And of course... From start to finish, go into real real detail. You've also got the playlist, as I showed before. The night are up the night uh two thousand and twenty-three playlist. At your convenience over here for a more in-depth look. We'll also obviously be putting out Nighter content here on YouTube, as well as other content. So if you enjoy what we do, the kind of informational casual runs or otherwise awesome video game content we put out either for Noita. Again, over on the stream as well, on twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. Doing a lot of Helldivers, Lethal Company. We're getting into more of a kind of kind of nice Sunday story time, classic gaming at the moment as well. Did Max Payne last Sunday, hopefully Half-Life this weekend. And uh, hey, we'll continue that. It's, I really enjoyed that. But I hope you can enjoy it too. And if you do, like button, subscribe. And there's no more bell anymore. The bell's gone, as far as I'm aware. Ain't no bell for me anymore. <laughs> But again, any questions, get down in the comment section down below. We've got the Ko-Fi forward slash LST suffer link for one-off contributions. We've got the join button for a monthly recurring membership as well to the Renegades. Help support what we do. Again, it's only through people's contributions can we continue doing what we're doing. So again, a big thank you to everyone who chooses to do so. It's huge. So apart from the stream, all everything, yeah, we're good. Enjoy your nighting, guys. Again, big nighting. Lots of nighting.
keep on being purple, I suppose, you know, for a while longer. Here's the thing, we had epilogue update two, but now we're looking to the future. What about epilogue update number three? We shall see. Anyway, take it easy, take care, enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are in the world, and I thought I'd drop in. You know, I, I could just let the playlist do the talking, but I wanted to drop in, make sure people got the news. This is more of a news kind of video, I suppose, than anything else. Sit down and rant about Bridge Boss Cheese. Yeah. Anyway, you take it easy, guys. Catch up with you soon. Peace. Yeah, but a huge thank you to the other selection of people who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially on a monthly basis. The Pounders. Again, a huge thank you to your consideration to support the channel. I'll catch up with you soon, guys. Take it easy.